Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I use aloe vera to wash my locks. Let's get it. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Troy back again with another video, and today, it is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day here in Tampa, Florida. It's a perfect day to wash my hair, so that's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna shampoo it, but then after that, I'm gonna use some aloe vera as pretty much like a conditioner, moisturizer, whatever you wanna call it. I actually haven't used aloe in probably like two months, so I'm pretty excited to do that. I get really excited when it's time to wash my hair. Am I the only one? Let me know in the comments. Now, I know there's already a bunch of videos on how to do this, how to cut up your aloe and wash your hair with it moisturize it but why not make my own you know i'll show y'all how i do it yo i just realized i have my glasses on i don't even need these right now now when i first started growing my locks i was using aloe vera every week i really didn't use much shampoo i would just cut up the aloe and wash with that so no matter where you are in your journey aloe is always a good thing to use it's a natural moisturizer it strengthens the roots of your hair and it promotes locking i've heard good things about cactus as well but for now we're gonna get on this aloe so let me show you the tools that you're gonna need for doing this of course your fresh aloe leaf you can get that from most grocery stores i got mine from Publix. i got a cutting board a knife and a fork wait that's not a fork <laughs> a knife and a spoon i have a pot where i'm going to be putting the chunks of aloe got an old white t-shirt and that's what i'm going to use to strain the aloe into another bowl and last but not least the other bowl so let me show you guys how i do it so first and foremost you want to make sure you rinse off your aloe leaf i already did that and what i like to do first is cut off the, the sharp ends or the sharp outer edges. So we're gonna just cut that. And I first learned how to do this from um, Zaylock 23s channel. So shout out to him. But one thing that I haven't seen anybody do that I'm gonna show you is use a spoon. And I'll show you why I prefer a spoon in a second. So then we're gonna cut it in half, cut this edge off or the end. And then we're simply gonna cut down the middle like so. Shout out to Tabitha Brown. Have y'all seen her videos? Like so, like that. Now comes in the spoon. So the reason I like a spoon is because when you're using a knife, it tends to cut into the skin of the leaf. So it makes like an uneven cut. So with a spoon, you just take the top of the spoon and you're gonna go at it like that. And it just perfectly slides right off. When I first started doing this, I lived with my family up in New York. And my great aunt, she used to ask me, she was like, why don't you just put it in the blender? It's so much easier. And I was like, no, I like the process. It's, it's kind of like therapeutic. Looks like this one is about done. This half or this, this part of the leaf. So we discard that onto the next one. It's so hot out here. It's made the leaf kind of warm. I've actually never done this outside. So y'all are getting an exclusive. This is kind of unrelated, but can somebody put me on to some new reggae music? Because I tend to only listen to Bob Marley and the Wailers. Like I'll just go to their music on Apple Music and just put everything on shuffle, which is great. But I feel like I've listened to every single song by him almost a hundred times. <laughs> Anybody who's into reggae music, I would highly appreciate if you, you know, drop a comment, put me on to some good music. And also the good thing about aloe is that, you know, you can eat it. You can put it in your smoothies. You can take a spoonful of it. It's really good for digestion. But I do understand that some people follow the Dr. Sabi nutritional guide. Aloe is considered a hybrid, so they stay away from it, which is cool. You just gotta do your own research, find what works for you. I've been thinking about doing a what I'd eat in a day video. What do y'all think about that? It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, the spoon is perfect. I've yet to see somebody do this on YouTube. Trying to put y'all on game. All right, one more done. On to the next. Discard. Another thing that aloe is good for is your skin. Your skin and your fellas for your beard. I like to wash my beard with this whenever I'm using it for my hair. And also, if you shave or like line yourself up with the Andy's tea liners this is better than using alcohol to put on your face after. Aloe is great for burns if you ever burn yourself cooking or anything like that. Throw some aloe on there, heal it right up. This is really like a magical plant. I was skating like a month ago and I got this nasty cut on my hand. I threw some aloe on there, wrapped it up, and it accelerated the healing process like crazy. 
So yeah, I swear by this aloe. Flacco, tell me how I feel to be a G like you. Yo, I love music. So going back to the music, who is your favorite rapper? Drop that in the comments. Mine just so happens to be in the lock game. Mr. Sean Carter, Jay-Z. And I tell my baby, come back, come back, come back, babe. All right, we are down to the final slice, the final slither of aloe. I'm trying to hurry up because it's like noon and I want enough time to let my hair dry. And remember, I'm gonna wash it first with shampoo, so that'll take some time. What are some of the most common questions you think in the, the free form lock community or just the lock community? What are some of the most common questions that people have? I wanna know what y'all think. Go ahead and drop that in the comments as well. And also, what are some questions that you have? Because, you know, sometimes maybe I won't know the answer, but somebody else in the comments will know. All right, that's a wrap. That's the last part of the leaf. And now to the fun part, we get to mash it up. As you can see, we got it all in there. So now what I'm gonna do is just use my hands to, you know, mash it up so that I can then transfer it to the t-shirt, make sure none of the chunks are in there. Let's get it. Can y'all hear that? Is this like ASMR right now? Hold up. <laughs> Dang, I'm about to start an ASMR channel. Oh no, we don't want that. We don't want that. I need a legacy. So that's gonna do it for the mashing up process. So now we're gonna grab my t-shirt and bowl and I'm gonna get this, all this gunk in there. So, like I said, you grab an old t-shirt and this is how you tie it up. I take one sleeve and then one corner of the bottom of the shirt and I just tie them like this. It's really simple. And just make sure it's tight so it doesn't come undone when you're squeezing the t-shirt. Just like that. And then just do the same thing to the other side. All right. Now that is done, I'm gonna grab my second bowl and I'm gonna put the t-shirt in there. So I like to take the, the neck of the t-shirt, the collar, and I drop it in there like this. Like this. Open it up. And then we pour our aloe in there. Just like this. Simple. Just get it all. Let me get the spoon actually. You just get it all in there. I'm telling you, once you start doing this, you're gonna love it. Yo, it's getting really hot out here. I hope my phone doesn't overheat. All right, so now I'm gonna remove the t-shirt. And some people like to just do it directly to their hair, but I'm gonna go shower first and shampoo first. So I'm just gonna leave it in the bowl for when I'm done. What I like to do is twist the shirt up and then you will start seeing the aloe come out. Well, that might be ASMR too. It's like screaming. The little aloe chunks are screaming. Oh yeah, there we go. Yup. And another thing, you don't have to have locks to do this. Now, this can be beneficial for anybody's hair. It just so happens that a lot of people with locks do this, traditionally. But yeah, there's a bunch of women online doing this with loose natural hair, all that type of stuff. So the aloe does not discriminate. And as you can see, there's no chunks coming out. It's just straight aloe gel. We don't want chunks because they'll be difficult to get out, especially if they dry, depending on how long you leave it in there. You just don't want that. And you don't want to twist the t-shirt too hard because then it could possibly rip a hole through it and there will be chunks that come out and I've done that plenty of times. Learn from my mistakes. Yeah, I think that means we're done. I'm gonna go wash my hair with some shampoo and after that, I will be right back with you. So, and just like that, I'm back. Now I have my aloe ready. My hair is freshly washed. Today I used Avalon Organics Clarifying Lemon. And my hair is still, still pretty wet. Now what you're gonna do is apply the aloe to your hair. It actually didn't come out to that much. Yeah, it's not a lot, so I'm just gonna pour that 
try to go slow so it doesn't all come out at once because what it tends to do is it'll form into like one like ball of gel so you want to try to go as slow as you can it's kind of difficult but you want to evenly distribute it throughout your hair once it is all out of the bowl I'll show you a trick to get it evenly distributed yeah this is actually a lot <laughs> it didn't look like much in the bowl but dang No woman who's worth anything wants a man who's not the highest version of himself, or at least on the way to it. So, now it's about time for the trick that I promised you. And this is something that I learned from this old Lenny Kravitz video it's called The Shakeout. And that's what it is. You're gonna shake your hair and you'll see how well the aloe distributes. Trying to back away from my camera because I don't want it to get a bunch of aloe on my mic and stuff. See? It's moving around. Yeah. There we go. You don't want to leave it in for too long. I would say no longer than, you know, an hour. Some people, they might find it works for them, but for me personally, I find that it leaves a lot of flakiness. So what I like to do is leave it in for no longer than like 45 minutes to an hour. And then I just get back in the shower and I rinse it out and make sure you're washing it out thoroughly. But the good thing about aloe is, you know, even if you don't wash it out all the way, it is like a natural moisturizer. So it's not gonna be the worst thing to get left behind in your hair. I hope this video was uh, easy to follow along to or follow along with. Hope you got some value out of it. And let me know in the comments if you've used aloe before or cactus and let me know how it works for you. I'm team aloe, team aloe over here. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Tuesday and every Friday at 1 p.m. I'm dropping new videos. So be on the lookout, turn on the notifications, like, comment, subscribe. Until the next one, peace. Look at this right here.